Hello and welcome to today's channel. Today we're going to be doing a video of me making a waterproof cover for my camcorder. This is my Sony camcorder FDR-AX100E can film in 4K, XAVCS, AVCHD, Progressive, 20 Megaplex, taking photos, X more R, Optical, Steady Shot, Wi Fi, 18 times zoom, clear image, zoom. Yeah, it's my um, everyday filming. I film racing with this on my other YouTube channel for my DVDs if you would like to pop over to that one to see and have a look I'll put the link down below right let's carry on and making a waterproof cover for my camcorder let's get to it let's go through the materials you get a pair of scissors you get the velcro with the sticky stick to fabric and I bought a 2 meter, I think it's 2 meters, waterproof fabric. And it's an army coloured material. I've bought this material off eBay. What do you think of this sort of material? I think it's really cool with the army effect. I'm going to take the cap bit off so I can stick the velcro on to it. I'm going to measure the cap bit to, so I can cut the size to the, the velcro bit so I can stick to the cap the right size. There you go, I've cut the size, I've stuck it down. I'm going to stick the other bit onto the fabric. As you can see, I think I bought a lot of it just for this camcorder. So, I've got loads of material to for using for the other stuff. There you go, I've put it the right way, but now I'm going to turn it the other way around so I can measure it. I forgot to mention the other material, a ruler. I'm measuring the front of it and the back of it so I can get the right measurements. As you can see I'm measuring it and I'm going to leave a, a little bit more of a gap because of my battery sticks out. I'm going to measure the bit where I measured from and make a marker so I can cut it. Oh, since I've done a marker, I thought I may as well make it a little bit longer to cover the battery completely. I'm now drawing the line to cut across the line. And there you have it, I've cut it. But I've kind of cut it more wider and I did not cut where the line is because I thought I'll give it a bit more extra. I'm now going to stick this Velcro bit to the fabric. I'm now going to mark where the end bits are and then I'm going to stick the velcro to the fabric so it can stay in place when I put it on the camcorder. I'm now just going to stick it onto the fabric. I'm hoping it will stick because I use this velcro before on my other waterproof fabric but 
not like this waterproof fabric but the other one is starting to wear and tear and gone horrible so I bought this waterproof fabric because it looks better And there you have it, it's stuck on the fabric and now I'm going to check with my visor open. I'm now going to do a slit in the side of it so I can put my visor through the fabric and also it give me more room for my hands underneath and it feels nicely. I'm folding it so I can make a mark on it so I can start cutting the slit. As you can see I've cut the slit and I can put my visor through the slit so I can look through that while I'm filming. I do have a plastic thing to go over the top of the visor. Or would you call it screen? Why am I calling it a visor? Is it a screen? Yeah the little screen. I'm calling it a visor. <laughs> I've done it like this so I can put my hands underneath it as I said before and it will fit nicely and easily on top of a tripod. As you can see I know I won't be able to shut the screen but I can just push the buttons on and off if I want to and I can just take it off when I've finished filming and then shut the screen once the cover is off. As you can see here I've added an extra top bit for extra protection. <laughs> I even stapled it. I didn't stitch or sew because I wanted to do it. I wanted to do a quick job. I stapled it. I even stapled the velcro bit for extra strength on keeping to the fabric. Also this extra bit is to cover my screen a bit more even though I've still got the other plastic thing to put over the screen to protect it even more but it's just yeah like an extra waterproof for the screen I think it looks good I think I've done a, a good job to this and yeah I'm pleased that I've done this because the other waterproof was horrible like I said earlier on but yeah I'm just I've done this also I've done this waterproof cover because whenever I tried everywhere looking for a cover for this camcorder there was none. For a high tech camcorder Sony didn't do a camcorder cover for this to keep it nice and dry when it's raining so I've made my own one. I hope this video is giving you some ideas of how to cover your camcorder with a waterproof fabric and hope my video helps you with my wacky design and my idea of covering a camcorder. Thank you for watching this video, put a thumbs up if you want to subscribe to see more videos and put a comment on what you think about my achieved effort of keeping my camcorder waterproof and I'll see you in the next video.